Hello everybody and welcome back to Betting Expert. My name is Adam and today we're going to predict Tyrone Woodley against Gilbert Burns. Let's get straight into it. The last time we saw Tyrone Woodley was when he lost his title against Kamaru Usman. He didn't look like himself in that fight, so it'll be interesting to see if he's just quit at this point or if he can make a career comeback and uh, prove a great finish or beat Gilbert Burns. Um, Burns is a tough competitor and I really like this matchup, but I see more advantages on the Woodley side and uh, we're gonna go straight into those. Okay, so we know that Gilbert Burns will have his greatest advantage if the fight hits the ground. This is because he is a three-time uh, Jiu-Jitsu world champion. Um, so I think Woodley will try to keep this fight standing. However, uh, Woodley does have that 92% takedown defense, uh, which will come in handy. Uh, it will certainly help him stay on his feet. Um, he's a great anti-wrestler. Um, and Woodley also has uh, never been sub submitted in his lifelong MMA career which tells us that he's pretty good defensively on the ground, good at avoiding the submission. If we look at his fight against Damian Maia, he actually did not uh, get taken down one single time in that fight, and he avoided uh, 21 takedown attempts from Damian Maia, so that's really impressive. And we can use that information about Woodley to maybe give us a hint about how he will fare against uh, Gilbert Burns if Burns tries to take the fight to the ground. Let's say that Woodley is able to keep this fight on the feet. What happens? Well, Woodley does have a pretty comfortable uh, eight centimeter reach advantage, which will come in handy if the fight stays on the feet. Um, he has that explosive style where he catches his opponent um, at the end of his punches and uh, a reach advantage like that could really come in handy for him. Woodley also has the power advantage. He hits really hard uh, compared to other guys in his division and uh, Burns will be in trouble um, if the fight stays in the feet for too long. I think Woodley will have a chance to find an opening and maybe finish, finish Burns. Um, we also know about Burns that he fought Dan Hooker who also had a great reach advantage over him. And uh, Hooker actually managed to uh, knock out Gilbert Burns. So maybe Burns has some trouble with that reach uh, disadvantage. Um, either way, it just adds value to the Woodley side. Woodley uh, is also the much bigger man, actually. Um, and I'm not talking about in terms of uh, weight, because they, they're both Walter weights, um, or reach or height, even though Woodley does have that uh, reach advantage I mentioned before. But Woodley has fought at Walter weight for all of his career while Burns has been fighting at lightweight. Um, if you imagine Woodley uh, making lightweight, you realize that it's impossible for him to ever make lightweight. So he's the much bigger uh, man naturally than Burns. And uh, we know that from history that a big size advantage like that could really be a big advantage for him because if Burns wants to take him down, he's trying to wrestle against a much bigger man. So that's another advantage for Woodley. All right, so now we've covered some more general points about both fighters, but if you want to do really good betting research, you need to go deeper. So what else have I researched? Well, Woodley have, has trained with uh, Ben Askren, who is a really high level grappler, um, which could help him in this fight, uh, because if he has trained with Ben Askren, who has a really great takedown skill, um, he might be able to stop Burns' takedowns. Um, and uh, Woodley has also fought perhaps the higher level of opponents. He's beaten the likes of Robbie Lawler, uh, Darren Till, uh, and Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. The first fight was a draw, but the second fight he, he got the nod. Um, whereas Burns has, he is on that five fight win streak. We know that can produce some mental benefits for a fighter, but his, his, his shot at climbing the ranks was against Dan Hooker, a fight where he got knocked out. So I would give, I would kind of make that a big advantage for Woodley, the fact that he's fought uh, 
the higher level of opponent. So the question really becomes, if Woodley can keep the fight on the feet uh, and he can avoid being submitted, what advantage does Burns really have? Um, well, he is five years uh, younger than Woodley, but a uh, big part of betting is learning from your mistakes. And I actually picked uh, Anthony uh, Smith to beat Glover Teixeira. Uh, now that's a fight where Teixeira uh, actually won the fight being the nine year older opponent. So maybe it's not a matter of age advantage, but a matter of how many shots you've taken in your career, how much damage you've taken. And both fighters, Woodley and Burns, have almost had the same amount of fights, <clears throat> both in their careers and in the UFC. Okay, so who is the value pick? Who will win this fight? I personally see all the advantages on the Tyron Woodley side. He is a uh, favorite right now at about uh, 161. I still think there is some value left over on that side, even though the odds have uh, dropped significantly since uh, they opened. Um, I just see the advantages again on, on Woodley's side. He has that takedown defense. He's never been submitted. He trains with Ben Askren and he's been the champion. He's fought way better guys uh, than uh, Gilbert Burns. And that reach advantage is super important as well. Um, I just don't see the value on Burns when his uh, only path to victory is getting a submission against a guy who's never been submitted even, and he's fought Damian Meyer and, and, and whatnot. And I also think we need to take advantage of the recency bias that might affect this betting line. Um, obviously, uh, Burns produced a great first round KO of Damian Meyer. Uh, and Woodley looks really bad in his last fight, but uh, I don't think Woodley is done yet. He might not be champion again, but I still think he can produce the, the, the great win against uh, Gilbert Burns. So I'm going with Tyrone Woodley for my prediction. Hey right, guys, that's all for me here today at Betting Expert, but I also want to hear from you. So leave your own picks or predictions in the comments or post a tip on uh, Betting Expert. Please remember to always gamble responsibly, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.